i let's move uh, to the line that uh, can be called the main line of uh, the open system of the Catalan defense d4 knight f6 c4 is 6 g3 d5 knight f3 bishop e7 bishop g2 castles castles d takes c4 queen c2 a6 and here white chooses to play uh, a4 so here the only reasonable move is bishop d7 and uh, this video is very short and uh, it is dedicated to the move knight e5 uh, here black plays like in uh, knight e5 variation with playing uh, a piece to c6 uh, and uh, bishop c6 knight takes c6 knight takes c6 if uh, here bishop c6 uh, b takes c6 queen c4 then queen d5 like my game from uh, uh, 2018 black is a little better but nothing uh, really happens uh, because b3 square is uh, now weak uh, so e3 is the move black protects the c4 pawn by playing knight a5 knight d2 and here c5 must be played it's a good move and uh, it uh, equalizes because if uh, not uh, uh, c5 then why just uh, take here uh, and uh, then uh, white has two bishops and uh, we don't want to struggle for a long time so c5 if now knight takes c4 it's easy c takes d4 knight a5 queen a5 bishop b7 rook a b8 bishop f3 bishop c5 protecting the d4 pawn bishop d2 queen b6 with an equal play so d takes c5 and here comes the next important move rook c8 uh, with the threat rook takes c5 uh, last year my opponent played here rook d1 and actually i misplayed here black should play uh, knight d5 with the idea if white plays b3 to play knight b4 queen c3 bishop f6 queen b4 and bishop takes a1 with an advantage and if knight c4 then rook c5 b3 and queen c7 white struggles to equalize uh, if bishop d2 here then just pawn down knight c4 b takes c4 b5 a takes b5 a takes b5 uh, even if black takes the c4 pawn uh, it's uh, hard to win such position anyway but queen d3 can be played knight takes c4 b takes c4 rook takes c4 bishop takes d5 he takes d5 queen takes d5 rook d8 queen f3 rook d1 queen d1 and something like h5 can be played uh, it's around equal but black can play for a win for some time if uh, knight c4 in this position it's just uh, a very equal game rook takes c5 b3 b takes c4 b takes c4 b5 well, this lines uh, look similar uh, like this position and this position so uh, white uh, struggles to equalize but nothing really happens and uh, uh, here uh, the best move is b4 black takes it takes b4 knight takes b3 knight takes b3 queen takes b3 and here black uh, plays a very strong move and uh, the position is very uh, drawish after it knight d7 the idea is to take on c5 with a knight because if something like bishop c5 then queen b7 can be played and white has a pair of bishops and uh, it's a long game and a long time pressure so knight d7 uh, if here c6 p takes c6 rook d1 queen c7 bishop d2 rook fd8 and uh, uh, white has some compensation but 
uh, nothing else like in game minus the sun loads and if a5 then just uh, knight c5 is strong moved with the idea after queen c4 to play queen d3 exchange and the queens and uh, black has no problems at all so the main move is of course bishop a3 but uh, this position is very drawish knight c5 bishop c5 bishop c5 rook fd1 not only move but it really doesn't matter queen f6 queen b7 a5 rook c1 rook b8 uh, many grandmaster games uh, were drawn in such position the first one was uh, Jan Rogers against uh, Gord in uh, Reggio Emilia 1984 long game but uh, nothing uh, really changed from that point so this line is uh, a tricky one because white uh, uh, when facing white you should know three good moves c5 in this position uh, rook c8 in this position and knight d7 and uh, if you know all these three moves it's just a draw and uh, uh, white uh, player uh, just playing for, for two results if you don't know this position white will uh, be with a pair of bishops and you will struggle but uh, thanks to this video you uh, will be prepared to meet uh, this tricky uh, 95 move so thanks for watching and see you in the next video about the catalan opening bye